Hello everybody, it's Resender and welcome back to an episode into Life in, Life in the End. We're in the world where I did the channel schedule video a few weeks ago because I needed to test something. The thing I needed to test is the possible setup for the new power station and here you see all the elements. Of course I need the windmill because I need some power to start up the electrolyzer. But for now, let's get out of this mode. So, I've got a single aqueous accumulator in here. And... Let's see. A thermal expansion. And it's filled up this tank nicely. And this test is to see... A bunch of stuff. For instance, how much... Uh, not high. So the first thing is how much water does the electrolyzer consume? And why are you not filtering? Okay, let me see. I need a bucket. No, no, no. Brilliant. Um, no, okay, water, whitelist, hi, why won't you pump water? Why do you not take water from this? Container. Let's see. I know you put water in. Take water out. We need to be on top. Drill state is disabled. Water whitelist. Hmm, this is not good. So I've got power now, so I don't need that anymore. Okay. I can remove that. Now I need to pump water out of here. Hmm. I'll have to look that up. So let's go for the a different way of transporting water. Let's go for the waterproof piping. Thermal expand. Ah, uh, no. Build craft. That's not build craft. Where is build craft these days? Come on. Ah. Okay, so let's take a few redstone engine. And now I need a waterproof. Pipe. Wooden fluid pipe and... Okay. Gold. Okay, and it's getting dark, so let's turn daylight back on. Okay, one, two, okay, 
And off we go. Okay. And that goes well. That's not receiving hydrogen. No, don't want it to dump. So, there is actually no way to get it out of a gas tank. That's unfortunate. Let's see, this has run out of power. So, back to square one. We take a windmill. Did we pause the windmill? Yes, we take a windmill and we take a redstone energy conduit. Start making hydrogen. Does this thing get its hydrogen now? I wonder. That makes some noise. Okay. Okay, we have a closed system. That seems to be working fine now. Oh, we have to see how many of these can we attach. Edge to a single to a single, let me see, uh, what was it? How many hydrogen generators can we attach to a single angle electrolyzer? That goes, still goes up. That's yeah, acting weird. 400 joules. Wait, wait, wait. I thought I saw something in network reader. Transmit is 13 hydrogen. This doesn't tell me anything. Hey, let's put in a third one, shall we? Okay, three works. Okay, number four. Although the sound is like, is misbehaving. That's four. Uh, 
that's a five. Okay, hydrogen. Okay, five. Six. Can we do seven? Okay, seven. Eight. Okay, and f ten. We now have ten hydrogen generators. That's roughly one third of what I'm going to use on end station two. Running off a s single electrolyzer stabilizer. Um, running off one of these. So. I think that's good. I think we'll only need one. Well, no, we'll probably go for five of these. One for each six chain. That should be plenty. So, that's it for today, guys. I wanted to uh, look at how efficient this setup was I needed to know can I you how much of these do I need to power these and it appears not many and if and you can see here we already have a million it's a million RF in just this short episode so I'll see you next time bye